Hey guys, so today we have more Yu-Gi-Oh! eBay decks. And that's all we got for you guys, past turn. <laughs> <laughs> These are mystery decks. So I don't actually know what they are. I'm horrified. There's tape on them still, so uh, we're gonna have to figure out a way of quickly, somewhat randomly deciding on if it's one. So here's your four decks. You know what, you can get first pick. You can pick. Just so that they I'll know that I was being... Let you pick. Okay. Nope, that's what I want. All right, what you get? Okay, I'm taking All this right. one. All right. All right, we'll leave these two. They can be a, another duel. Now the moment. We reveal. Reveal on three. Three. One. Salamangrave. I got Volcanics. Let's go through the decks, and then we can get into the duel. So the deck starts out with Salamangrave Emerald Eagle, who I've never used or seen used before. So that'll be interesting. You get three copies of it, which feels excessive. Oh, we got Falco. That's a staple. We got Spinny. All right, that's another staple. Is that one Gazelle? Is Gazelle at one? Three Foxy, you kind of need, you need Foxy. Uh, Circle, we know we need that. Will, we definitely need that. Pre-prep, I guess for like Emerald Eagle, you need that. One-time passcode, just feels like filler, but it's here. Burning Draw, I don't even know if Paul's deck has Lake Monsters, so this card might just be completely useless. Our Rage, you need that. Roar, you need that. And we get into our action deck. Some Raj Stalio, it's a solid card, you get two. Heat and Leo, that's your rank three. We got three of it. I don't know if I needed three, but I got three. We got Bailing, so we need, we need that for us, our field spell. All Mirage, you know what? You can never really have enough All Mirages, so you know what? Cool, I'll take these All Mirage. And then Giga Cannon. Wait a minute! Where? <laughs> Where is Sunlight Wolf? What the heck? You just don't have it. All right, so I have Volcanics, a deck I've never played before. I'm assuming this is just the common cards. Volcanic Queen, this is actually pretty cool. It's like a Kaiju, technically, although you don't get to normal summon that turn. Um, Volcanic Rocket, always good for searching your Blaze Accelerator. Oh, some older ones. Volcanic Hammerer, Doomfire, oh lord. Of course, they probably don't include the new Doomfire. I just have to actually use this. Barrier Statue of the Inferno would be good if my opponent wasn't using Fire Monsters. Crimson Resonator, neat. Try Blaze Accelerator. Salaman Great Charge? Okay. I didn't get that. Volcanic Blaze Accelerator is a newer one. Regular Blaze Accelerator, Blaze Accelerator Reload, Volcanic Emission, this is one of their new trap cards. And I do have some Synchros. Star Mine, I don't think I've seen this a day in my life. Apparently it came in Lightning Overdrive. Laval Dual Slasher, Lavalval Dragon, Lavalval Salamander, Golden Cloud Beast, Symphonic War. Ooh, some random synchros in here. I'll have to read these though and see what they do. Planet Patrol Ship Bran? Stellar Wind Wolf Rayet. Cloud Castle. What is this supposed to even summon? Is there like a level nine monster that I have? And Dragon Lark Perrin. Cool. All right, I'm gonna learn volcanics today, guys. Oh, fun. Have you heard about Honkai Star Rail? Honkai Star Rail is a free cross-platform RPG made by Hoyoverse, the makers of Genshin Impact. This now includes the PlayStation 5, so go ahead and search for it on the PlayStation Store. Enjoy Honkai's strategic turn-based combat as you embark on an interstellar journey as a member of the Astral Express. With the release of 2.0, we get a whole new world to traverse. Welcome to Penacani, the planet of festivities. While Penacani may initially appear as a luxurious hotel, its hidden side can only be accessed through the realm of dreams. And it wouldn't be a new adventure without new companions. Meet Black Swan, a mysterious five-star Nihility character. She practices divination with the aid of her crystal ball and cards, but can anyone divine her true intentions? Be sure to recruit Black Swan to make use of her damage over time abilities. Also arriving is Sparkle, a five-star Harmony character. Clad in red, she's a mischievous girl who will do anything for fun. She's also sporting a really cool mask that just screams chaotic neutral. She'll make an excellent addition to any party with her skill point shenanigans. And also coming in 2.0 is Misha, the four-star destruction doorman? He's friendly and well-mannered, but will surely help you mop up your enemies. Honkai's 2.0 update is coming with a plethora of new scenes, new friends, and new enemies. And just by logging in, you can earn up to 20 free summons and the limited 5-star character, Dr. Ratio. If you're ready to hop on the Astral Express, then download Honkai Star Rail by hitting the link below. And use this redemption code to claim 50 Stellar Jades. Thanks again to Honkai Star Rail for sponsoring today's video. Alright, duelist. You ready for this fiery hot duel? No! Apparently it's gonna be anyway. Dice roll to see who goes first. 
Oh lord, that's I think that's two? a two. Yeah, because only on Konami dice is the picture of one. Alright, so take your pick, Duelist. I'll go first. So I have cards in my hand. And they are not... I don't think these are enough cards to make a real play. Alright, so I'm going to start off by activating my Will of the Saddle Mangler. I'll activate my one-time passcode. It's a special summon a security token in the field. Alright, we're going to link off the security token. For Saddle Mangler, Bailinx! On summon, Bailinx can add a sanctuary to my hand. Get my Salamangre Sanctuary. Let's activate our Sanctuary. Let's normal summon my Salamangre Gazelle. On normal or special summon, I can send a Salamangre card from deck to grave. I'll send Salamangre and Roar to the grave. So I'll use my Sanctuary to do a reincarnation summon for Bailinx. So that'll trigger the Salamangre Roar in my grave. Set the Roar. Then I will set another card from my hand and I will pass turn there. I'll draw a duelist. She beat your bailings for a volcanic wow. queen. I'll set two cards face down in the field. Then I'm gonna end my turn, duelist. Draw for turn. I will use my Will of the Salaman Great to special summon the Salaman Great from the Hand or Graveyard. To special summon back out my Bailinx. And we're gonna link up to make the Salaman Great Heat Leo. On summon, I can activate its effect to target one of your spell or trap cards and send it back to the deck. I'm targeting this one. I will normal summon my Salaman Great Jack Jaguar. Jack Jaguar attacks for 1800. And then my Heat Leo will attack for 2300. Pass. Activate my Volcanic Emission. Oh. I can take a Volcanic Monster from my deck and either add it to my hand or special summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions. But it'll be returned to my hand during the end phase. Volcanic Rocket. I'll use its effect. Blaze Accelerator Reload. Rocket is returned to my hand. My turn. Draw. First, I'm going to normal summon Volcanic Rocket. I'll use this effect to add a Blaze Accelerator card from my deck or GY to my hand. I will get the Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. I'm going to activate it, but I have to send a Blaze Accelerator card from my hand, deck, or field to the grave. But alas, for I have Salaman Great Roar. No, oh, that sucks. I guess I'll have Volcanic Rocket attack Jack Jaguar. Yeah, that's fair. I'll take the 100. I'll set a card face down. Ooh, two cards, actually. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. So I'll activate my Will of the Salaman Great. Salaman Great Gazelle. And then I'll activate Gazelle's effect to send a Salaman Great from deck to grave. I will send my Salaman Great Foxy. I'll activate Foxy's effect, paying the cost by discarding. Burning Draw, which counts as a Salaman Great card. And it's dead in this matchup. Welcome to the field. Xyz Summon. Salaman Great Mirage Stalio. I will perform a link summon by using my Sanctuary. I can send my Heat Leo to summon a Heat Leo. When he's reincarnated some reincarnate summoned, I can take one monster on the field and change its attack to one of my monsters in the grave. So I'm going to turn your uh, Volcanic into my Bay Lynx's 500 attack. End of main phase, we're going to use Blaze Accelerator Reload. We're going to send Volcanic Hammerer. Draw one card. My Mirage Stalia will attack your 500 attack. Volcanic Rocket. Heat Leo will attack you for 2300. I'll activate Salaman Great Charge. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be summoning Volcanic Hammerer and shuffling back in Queen and Rocket. At least these are my targets anyway. I will use my Salaman Great Rage. Still in the battle phase. Oh man, okay. Because my Heat Leo was uh, reincarnate summoned, that means I can target it and then destroy monsters you, or destroy cards you control up to that monster's link rating. So I can just target these two. And I'll attack for 2300. But that's not all we have for you. We'll use Thalia's effect, detaching Gazelle. I'll get my Salaman Great Falco pass. I'll draw. I'll concede this game and go to game two. Game two. Game dos. And hopefully the last one. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my fire ejection. Okay, we're gonna send Volcanic Rimfire. We'll give you a bomb token. And then I'm gonna use Volcanic Rimfire's effect. I can banish it from my grave and send another Volcanic Monster from my deck to the graveyard, except another Rimfire. All right, I'm gonna just send Volcanic Hammerer. Next, we'll set two cards face down in my turn. The draw for turn. Take it away, duels. I will start by normal summoning my Salaman Great Spinny. I'm gonna activate my trap card. Blaze Accelerator Reload. I'll send my Volcanic Scattershot. Ooh. Which lets me draw one. But more importantly, it activates Volcanic Scattershot's effect. Wow. So first we're going to deal 500 to you. And then destroy your field. Yeah, the token is destroyed too, which I think deals some more damage to you. Yes, the bomb token will explode. So you'll take a total of 1,000 damage. Mm -hmm. Actually, sorry, 2,000 damage. Each Scattershot does an additional 500. So yeah, so All you have right. 6,000. I am down and out. 
I am in trouble. So I'll use my Salaman Great Mirrors effect. By discarding a Salaman Great card as cost, I can special summon it. We'll link it off. We'll get our Bay Links. And Bay Links will activate its effect. Bay Link activates its effect, and also, so does my Foul. Foul will special summon, and then Bay Link searches for my field spell. Sanctuary! I'm activating it. I will use my Salaman Great Foul's effect. I can send a Salaman Great card from my hand or field to the graveyard, then target a set spell or trap card that you control. It cannot be activated this turn, so I'll target this one. I'll activate my Volcanic Emission. I can take a Volcanic Monster from my deck and either add it to my hand or special summon it. It's going to get returned to the hand during the end phase if I special summon it. And I have Volcanic Rocket. You would do that. Now Volcanic Rocket's effect will activate to add a Blaze Accelerator card from my deck or graveyard to my hand. Go for it. We're going to get Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. That's a real card. I will use my Salaman Great Spinny. Oh, summon Spinny. Link Summon. To make Heat Neo. And when Heat Leo is summoned, I can target a spell or trap card you control and shuffle it into the deck. Heat Leo will attack your rocket. Rocket's destroyed, I'll take 400 damage. I pass. I, I, I pass. You pass, I draw. Oh, it would've been nice if my Volcanic Rocket could've returned to my hand and I could've gotten another summon. Honestly, that's just for the best. I think we're, we're all like happier. Well, how time. about I activate Volcanic Blaze Accelerator by sending a Blaze Accelerator from my deck to the grave? I'll activate the effect of Volcanic Blaze Accelerator and mm -hmm. Target your Salaman Great Heat Leo. I'll just send one and destroy it. I'll send my Volcanic Rimfire. And I'll use my Billings' effect to actually protect my Heat Leo. Since Volcanic Rimfire was sent, banish a Blaze Accelerator card from my field or grave and place a Blaze Accelerator Continuous Spell or Trap from hand or deck based upon my field. Well, we know you have one in there. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and banish this. Blaze Accelerator Reload is back. I'll use Blaze Accelerator Reload's effect and discard Volcanic Shell to draw one card. Yes. Then I'll activate Volcanic Shell's effect by paying 500. I can add another Volcanic Shell to my hand. Hope I'm doing this all right. I mean, I'm, I'm really not sure like I mean, what's you, going if on. If you broke the rules of the comments, will tell us. Yeah, let, you guys will let me know, right? Salamangrate Charge. Target three fire monsters that are banished during my grave, shuffle two into the deck, summon the remaining monster. All right, we're gonna do Scattershot, Scattershot, Hammerer, so I can summon Hammerer to the field. I guess that's all I can do. So we're gonna set this card and set this card. You move duelist. Draw for turn. Let's Link Summon. Reincarnate Link Summon to my Salaman Great Heat Leo. And so uh, Heat Leo triggers both of his effects. Let's go ahead and send. We'll just send this one. I'm also gonna chain a card actually, just before we all resolve right. all that. I'll go ahead and chain my Salaman Great Charge. Just target three of my. Fires. What's we'll do a scatter shot, a rim fire, and a shell. I'm going to special summon rim fire and shuffle these two back into the deck. Yeah. And then volcanic blaze accelerator is also getting shuffled back in. So. And my heat Leo will target a face up monster on the field and one monster in my graveyard, and that monster attack becomes the monster. The other monster attacks. So I'll target your hammer and my mirror. I will use my trapping grave, Salaman Great Revival. I banish it, targeting the Heat Leo in my grave, so that the Heat Leo in my field will gain its attack. Heat Leo will attack Hammer. I will set one card face down, and I'll move to end phase. Alright, and then in your main phase, I'll use my Blaze Accelerator Reload. I'm going to discard Volcanic Shell to draw one card. I am my turn. I draw. Activate my Blaze Accelerator Reload. Alright. Send this shell to draw a card. I'll pass turn back to you. Draw for turn. Salaman Great Circle. So I can add one Salgate monster from deck to hand. I'll get my Salaman Great Emerald Eagle. We'll link summon. Reincarnate Heat Neo. And now I will activate Heat Neo's effects. Target this face down card to be shuffled back into your deck. Okay. And target all your rim fire. It only has 300, so anything I choose will be stronger. I'll make it, it'll be stronger with Mirror's attack. And now I'll play Rise Salaman Great. I can ritual summon out one of my Salaman Great rituals, but if I have a link monster out, I can also use monster. I can shuffle monsters from my grave back into my deck to make the tribute cost. Of course, I'm attempting to summon Emerald Eagle, which means I need, I need eight stars. Luckily, I have an Emerald Eagle in my grave. And summon Salaman Great Emerald Eagle. And since I use Emerald Eagle to summon Emerald Eagle, I can use this effect to destroy all your special summon monsters. I think it's only if you use one in the field. A Salaman Great Emerald Eagle you control. Yeah. Why would I? How would I? Cause it's like these, you gotta like summon him first and then tribute him. So I have to summon one with the ritual spell mm -hmm. and then get another copy of the ritual spell and another copy of himself. Mm -hmm. 
I see why no one plays this. That's right. I'll have my Emerald Eagle attack your uh, Rimfire. All right, well, when it goes to Grave, I'm going to use effect. I can banish it from my graveyard and send a Volcanic Monster from uh, deck to Grave. Yeah, we'll just send, like, I don't know, a Canon Queen. <laughs> And then uh, Heat Leo will attack you directly. I'll set a card phase down in main phase two. And I'll use my Blaze Accelerator Reload. We'll discard Volcanic Rimfire to draw one card. I don't know why I was grabbing my deck. Draw one, draw for turn. Okay, let's pay 500 <laughs> to get another Volcanic Shell to my hand. Ooh. Grab a Volcanic Shell to my hand. Mm -hmm. I'll use Blaze Accelerator Reload, I suppose. Pitch shell, draw one. This is not what I needed. Well, this was fun. All right, well, anyways, I'm going to set one card face down and another card. And I'll just have to end my turn. Draw! Uh, normal summon Salaman Great Foxy and use its effect to excavate the top three. We're looking for a Salaman Great card. All right, we got Foxy, Falco, and Will. I will take the Will and shuffle the two back into the deck. Screw it, actually. Screw it, I take it back. I'm gonna use this if I'm gonna lose anyway. I'm negating his effect with Volcanic Inferno. It's not gonna do much, but yeah, so basically, oh, oh yeah, Roar. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Screw it. Okay, good games. GG. I just had a Laval Magma Cannon here. <laughs> yeah, these are, these cards are not the best. What did we learn today? Um, eBay eBay decks are not for the faint of heart. Yeah, they're not really very good, but at least you might get Salamangra. You can manage. This, if you get a Volcanic deck, you just won't get a boss monster. I mean, but this deck won't beat anything. It'll beat this It'll beat Volcanic this, deck. So. That's what it will beat. Yeah. It was fun. I had a pretty good time. Yeah, and now I'm really horrified for what the other two decks might be. Yeah, I mean, they could be anything. I'm. It was kind of ironic that we got like the fire decks this time, but I wonder what that might be. If you guys would like to see it, maybe uh, drop a like on the video. And try and guess uh, what other important cards for decks will be left out. Yeah, without further ado, we'll see you in the next one. Past turn.